This is part three of the system design approach video and in today's video we're going to talk about how to communicate your ideas clearly in a system design interview but also in your everyday job. Now in an interview situation you need to make the best out of your time um, it's, which is usually about 50 minutes to an hour. So you need to explain this idea you have in your head to the interviewer in a way that you're both on the same level. And this is mainly uh, the biggest challenge because you don't have uh, all sorts of tools or all sorts of preparation time um, to communicate your idea. This preparation time you may have at work, um, but not in an interview situation. Okay, so what I like to do in a system design interview, after um, asking clarifying questions, I try to go through my idea and I try to go through my architecture I build up in my head um, from one point to another. So from a well-defined starting point to a well-defined end point. Whenever people ask you, for example, about um, a web app, um, some, some kind of web service, um, it usually makes sense to step through it um, from the user's perspective, so from the end user's perspective, and you go through the layers until you hit some sort of storage layer. Um, in many situations this works and it leads to a better understanding between you and the interviewer because you have both have a, a well-defined starting point, um, you both know what you're talking about if you just start you know, talking about from the end user. So if you talk about a system design like Instagram or whatever app or whatever web service it may be, you can start um, talking about the app the user is using and the request that he's making um, to, to whatever load balancer or whatever system. And then you talk through those layers, application servers, caching layers, a service architecture um, and also a storage layer in the, at the very end. And this gives you both common understanding of your rough idea and from there you can jump into more detailed topics. Another really good tip is to practice those systems and interviews with a focus on the communication. So don't worry too much about the correctness uh, or the completeness. Care about how well you communicate the idea, how clear you make it to whoever you're talking to. So you can do this with a friend, you can do this with your parents, you can do this with other co-workers, it doesn't matter, it's just important that you have somebody listening to it and trying to follow your uh, train of thought. In many cases you will realize that you assume too much uh, domain knowledge uh, in your interviewer or with the person you're, you're practicing this. So try to forget your own situation and maybe the last couple of projects you worked in because the interviewer won't have that knowledge or will have a different um, imagination of those concepts. So go Go a step down, explain those concepts and don't assume that you both have the same understanding of it. Another really important part is making use of the whiteboard and the drawing opportunities you have. So make use of whatever kind of visualization tool you have. Uh, even if you're maybe not the most visual person, it makes sense to use it because it's a second layer of explanation. So your voice is one layer, the second layer would be the drawing, uh, the diagram you, you make. So also practice that with, with people and with friends and don't just use it for 10 seconds, you know, draw three rectangles and that's it. Um, give it names, you know. If you draw a rectangle which represents a certain component, uh, give it a name which you and the interviewer can use while discussing the topic. So try to give it names like you would do in code, right? When you, when you try to name variables and classes and methods uh, so that people understand what they represent, but also uh, making it easier for you both to communicate around those components. Of course, there are many more ways to communicate effectively um, and to get better at system designs and explaining your system designs to other people. Um, but the most important part stays, you know, being curious and trying to learn as much as you can about um, architectures and about software. So that's today's video. I hope you liked it. Um, Leave all the comments and questions you have in the comment section below. My name is Ramon Lopez and this is Success in Tech.